Hi, my name is Wendy Boyette and today I want to take a few moments to explain to you about preventing medication errors, which is taught in the Nursing 330 Law and Ethics course for healthcare professionals of the University of Mount Olive in the RS, RN to BSN program. This video is an assignment for my Master's of Science in Nursing degree program at the University of Mount Olive. This will be a short five minute lecture and it will be on using the principles of adult learning theorist Emma Jean King. Her theory is called the Conceptual System and Middle Range Theory of Goal Attainment. Her theory points out that nurses play a unique role in patient care and the goal of nursing is to help patients maintain their health so that they can live full functioning lives. Nurses working in many areas of practice today continue to use Ms. King's theory to improve the quality of patient care. My goals and objectives are to prevent medication errors in the home health care setting, specifically to know the five rights of medication administration and to teach and organize medications to avoid medication errors. My topic overview is medication errors that can occur in home health environment. Home health is, is a hospital without walls. It's an extension of a clinical office um, visit and it brings health care to millions of homes each day. So my topic is going to be about helping um, organize patients' medications in home health. Uh, I'm going to speak with Mr. Boyette, who has some medications that we're going to help him um, get organized uh, so that we can avoid any type of medication error. Um, Mr. Boyette, do you have some medications for me? Yes, I do. Wonderful. Okay. Nice bag. I have a hole. I need another one. I need a new one. <laughs> That's not uncommon. We see that a lot. Okay. I have all these. Wonderful. Okay, all right. It'd be more wonderful if I didn't have to take all of these. Understandable. Yes, sir. Sometimes they're good. And that's all. all. Wonderful. Okay, all right. Mr. Boy, do you take every one of those medica... <laughs> Stop. Do you take every one of those medications? No, ma'am. Okay. I don't. Take away the ones that you don't. Let's, let's just deal with your current ones. These yeah. three over here I don't mess with anymore. Okay. All right. Awesome. Do you have an updated medication list? Uh, yes, I do. Wonderful. Okay. Let's, let's check off. So you take this. You take this once a day and um, this one twice a day. Okay, and um, Mr. Boyd, last at our last meeting, we discussed the five rights of medication administration. Can you, um, do you remember what those were? I do. Okay. I'm right gonna, patient. Okay, you got the right patient. That's you. That's right. me. Right dose. Right dose. Okay. Yes. Right drug. Yes, sir. Right route. And at the right time. Very good. Okay. So what's going to help us? We do know that we have four of those five rights. And now to make sure that we have the right time, what we're going to do is we're going to organize your medications. And if you take them once, twice, or three times a day, we'll put them in this uh, Medi planner, and that'll organize them for the whole week for you. And, Yay. And guess what? We're going to give you a new bag because ah. you deserve one. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll open up your medications, we'll open up um, the meta planner, we'll put your meds in, and then after we finish, we'll do one med at a time. And after we finish, we'll place your med into the bag. After we finish, each med will go into the bag, all right, like so. And then you'll have your medications for the week, your current meds will be in there, and guess what else? My we'll drug have, list. Very good. We're going to put your drug list in there because if you ever have to go... To the hospital or if there's an emergency the if you ever have to go and there's an emergency anybody you can just say grab my flu um, medication bag and they can take it right with them all right sounds good miss boy have, have this been helpful for you very today? helpful very good thank you very much and you can take your bag on your way out <laughs> thank you very thank much you. okay <laughs> all right all right so as you can see we were able to get mr um, boy organized so that any healthcare professional that comes in would be able to help him. Um, they would see his drugs, he, they would see the drug list, and they could compare it. And then if he went into the hospital and his uh, drug regimen changed, then we could make amendments to it. Um, uh, in conclusion, we discussed how Imogene King's theory related to preventing medication errors in the home health setting. We discussed the five rights of medication administration. We discussed how the nurse can help patients organize their current medication regimen. And we discovered the importance of using the, and understanding how to use the Planner. 
Thank you for your time and your attention. Please complete the short evaluation and return it um, via email to my nursing professor within three days. Her name is Dr. Karen Rawls, and her email address is karen.rawls at moc.edu. Thank you very much.